Welcome to Root Stem. And in this battle report, we've got 1,500 points of Orcs versus 1,500 points of Crimson Fists. Right, so we've got 1,500 point match play game. We're going to be playing an Eternal War, Eternal War, a Maelstrom of War mission. Uh, disruptive signals. And what page is it? Is it page 54 from chapter approved 2018? This battle report is recorded before the chapter approved 2019 drops is always slight either benefit or advantage not quite sure um, but effectively the terrain is set up as if it's a crashed Thunderhawk from some space marine chapter that wears white we're not quite sure who that might be might be white, white scars. scars might be lunar wolves you never know um, and we've got a little tiny bit of an orc settlement springing up around it and we've got a bit of a themed crimson fist army Backed by an Inquisitor, no doubt. Possibly it's the Inquisitor's orders that sent the Crimson Fists down to find out what's happening in this area. And of course to pick up as many objectives as we possibly can. So it should be a fun, small, compact battle. 1500 points is normally not that large. Although I'm looking at the Orcs, there's quite a few of them. So, <laughs> let's take you to some armies. Right, this is Ollie. There we go. That's Ollie trying to be normal. <laughs> Right, so he has 1,500 points worth of match play orcs. He apologises for the paint job and the fact that some of them are not painted. Clan Plasticus. Apparently so. <laughs> Don't know what, what is that, a goth trait is it? Yeah, Clan it's a Plasticus. Goths. Right, yeah. okay. It's for goths. <laughs> so Clan Plasticus is the goths and he's going to apologise for not having all of his models busy with, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Some, some, are, some are partially painted, but they're oh, fine. Partially they're painted's right. all right. They're to rich. be honest, that squad there is fully painted. That's because I painted them. And that guy's there is painted. That's because I painted him as well. Yeah, shameless plug. Shameless, shameless plug. plug. Shameless for plug. Shameless plug. For rootstem.co.uk for commission painting. Right, sir, just run us down what you've got. Right, two mech guns. Uh, both uh, heavy plasma guns. Because yeah. uh, unfortunately I don't have another uh, heavy plasma gun, so they're both uh, heavy plasma guns. Yeah, yeah. We've also got a HQ choice of a big mech with a teleport gun. We've got is that shock attack gun. Oh, yeah, no, not yep, Yeah, shock attack gun. <laughs> it was one of those two. Yeah. Uh, we then got some biker boys here, and then they are going to be led by my warlord that's over here. Yep. The uh, uh, Def uh, War Trike. I can't remember what his full name is, is now, but it's the War Trike. One of them got a knob in it, as it were, a power claw. Uh, no, just. Just right, boys. so they don't, they don't yeah. actually have... Right, no problem, yeah. sir. Ignore ignore those. Ignore the weapons. <laughs> right here. Them. Don't, okay. <laughs> and then we've got a unit of 10 flash gits with yep. Bad Rook uh, oh, in there as well. Right, okay. Second HQ choice yep. filling up there. And then we got, boom, 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 three units of 20 boys each led by... Is that by, 24 in that one? Uh, no, it was 20. Oh, Should yeah, four, yeah sorry, 20, four. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, three units of 20 boys... Uh, yep. All led by a knob with a just a chopper and a shooter. Okay. Again, ignore, <laughs> ignore, <laughs> ignore them. <laughs> ignore them with additional weapons, right? Okay, I don't think Ollie understands WYSIWYG. <laughs> <laughs> he just they've got bigger weapons, but just pretend they're the smaller ones. They just right, look yo. like a power club, okay. when it's not. <laughs> all right, so that's one thousand five hundred points worth of oaks. Yeah, big thumbs up there from Ollie. Let's take you to the 1500 points worth of Crimson Fists. Here we have 1500 points, well, 1499 points of Crimson Fists. And yes, we have an Inquisitor. This model here is from Black Scorpion Miniatures. It's actually one of the pirate range that I slightly converted up and gave him plasma pistol. Yarr. And it's basically been my, uh, yeah, it's been my female Inquisitor since with a force sword. So she, I'm going to be spending a command point to give her a warlord trait and a relic, which you can do from the new white dwarf, but she's not my warlord. These three characters here, this chappy here will be my warlord, uh, all in four boss armor. Uh, so I've got a lieutenant, a librarian, and a, um, a captain, all in four boss armor. I am not upgrading to a chapter master because the Crimson Fists have already got one. There we go, that's for people that like to take Chapters that I've already got a chapter master have then got, oh no, a risk guy is a chapter master. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> right. Rant over. So, um, I've got four troops choices, one unit of infiltrators, uh, ten strong with a medic, the guy with the bald head will be the sergeant, 
another 10 unit of scouts the guy that's not facing the right way he's the guy with pointing up will be the sergeant there's two rocket launchers in there they've all got camo cloaks another unit of 10 scouts i've gone for the ninth company feel here to be oh. honest with you um they've got a mixture of bolters close combat weapons sergeant's got a power fist and two heavy bolters in that team uh, and then of course these guys are backed up by another unit of seven um yeah them rip-off tactical marines them are primaries things. yeah intercessors intercessors thank you <laughs> with a sergeant he's the one with the beaky helmet with the power fist and they're effectively the idea is, is that they are her bodyguard so they've been assigned to her by uh, the chapter master of the crimson fist just to look after her uh, and then I'm backing up some heavy support with a unit of three Centurion Devastators. We've got heavy bolters, last cannons on the sergeant, and chest rockets. Although I don't think they're going to be uh, dealing a lot of heavy duty damage to vehicles this particular turn. They might make a mess of some of the bikes. We've got a dread with a twin last cannon and a heavy flamer in his power fist. And a land speed of storm which can carry five. I really do like that model. And I'll be honest with you, I say it every time, but it is one of my favourites. Oh no, and it's broken. Oh dear, my heavy bolter is broken off. I will find that and I will glue it on. But that is 1,500 points worth of Crimson Fist with a bit of rubbish in the background. Sometimes I hate this club. <laughs> and they're going to be uh, going against Ollie's Orcs. So we've got deployment in. The Orcs have gone into the woods down this particular right hand flank we are quite camera flashing <laughs> there to be honest um around the wreck of the thunderhawk and then of course you've got bad rook and his lads here that just stood out in the open like plebs not quite sure why they're doing that but there we go and then these lads now these lads have decided very cleverly to get behind the trees as we discussed you cannot shoot through the trees they actually block line of sight so if you're in it, you can shoot out of it. A bit like old school area terrain. If you ever played 4th edition, you'll know where I'm coming from. And to be honest with you, I really do wish to bring trees back like this. So that will block line of sight to those. But it won't block line of sight. Well, it will block line of sight to some of them, but not all. And then my lads, we've got a unit of combat squad and scouts. They've got the two heavy bolters in there. Um, we've got the unit of intercessors trying to hide behind the woods. Unit of uh, Centurion devs there, definitely hiding behind the woods because yeah. let's trump yeah. them forward. <laughs> trump them forward and then suddenly start spraying everything with heavy bolter fire. These guys here, uh, they're going to be supporting these two units. These, we always do say that you can state that certain units are hunkering down, so they're getting down, so they can't be seen at the moment. I'm going to have to move over to be able to shoot out. Librarian and the Dreadnought trying to hide from these big guns over here. And then, of course, we've got the Land Speeder Storm with the other half of the Scout Squad in there. That's the Power Fist and Close Combat Weapons. Intercessors plus the um, yep, li uh, Inquisitor. I'm going to say Librarian, but it's not the Inquisitor. Hiding behind here. She's got the um, Xenos Warlord trait, allowing me to get the uh, command points back from him when he uses them. And she's got Castigation. I believe that's what we call the Psychic Power. <laughs> and she's also got a Relic of Digital Weapons. So that's for a command point. It's not too bad. Sticking one of those birds in there, and then of course my warlord, because um, I didn't mention I didn't mention my warlord traits earlier. My warlord is going to have, <coughs> yeah, he's going to have um, the one where it's plus one to his wounding and he ignores wounds on a six. And then I've given special rather than taking a relic, he's going to have the special power fist. So basically, he's got a power fist without a minus. That's always champion. And Ollie had taken, his Warlord had taken the Goth one, which allows him to plus one attack. And of course, if he charges or charged or intervenes, and he gets a plus one to his AP. So another additional minus. What's your relic, by the way? I'm taking one. Why have you not taken a relic? I've taken a relic. <laughs> okay, if you don't want to take a relic, you can do if you want, but never mind. Right, now, Ollie had to deploy first. Hence why his armor looks very different. He is going first. No need to roll oh, yeah. unless I decide I want to. I'm not going to. I'm going to let you have first turn. Go first I am not going to try and seize. So, let's get into Orcs first turn.
drawn his cards. He's got Defender. I'm not quite sure if he's shuffled these, to be honest. Defend Objective 3, Defend Objective 2, and Defend Objective 1. And Psychological Warfare. Now, Objective 1 is underneath these lads here. Objective 2 is down here. If he pushes it with the bikes, he might be able to get onto that. But whether or not he's going to be able to hold it is another question. And Objective 3 is in front of these guys here. Again, another one where you could probably... Well, I don't know, actually. Maybe you've not taken a cycle, have you? So no da jump. But it'll be interesting. So a quick look at the movement. These guys have hurtled their way through some woods. We are allowing bikes not to go through these wooded areas. They tried to advance stone, got a one. So we are yeah, getting a little bit stuck on the uh, tall twine there. These lads have moved forward. Still holding objective one, but just getting that, that cover. And of course, the rest of all these boys... All these boys of, of Plasticus have hurtled their way forward. Uh, not a lot of shooting that can be done. These big guns here, that shock attack gun's got some targets, and these lads here have got some targets. So which one are you going to go with first, then, Ollie? I will go with my uh, flash gates. Flash gates first, then, sir. So it's two shots apiece. There's ten of them, uh, but only five we measured up. Five of them are in range to these. So he's going to have ten shots. Um, needing fives and sixes because you moved, because they're fours normally, aren't they? Yep. And which one's your boss, actually? Now, that one's just out of range. Right, no problem. So, ten shots, needing fives. Uh, just so people know, he did play a stratagem on these, billowing exhaust clouds. We'll put it next to it. So, they are going to be minus one tip, but because he did, my Inquisitor rolled a five and got, gave me an extra command point. And also, which I need to... <laughs> let people aware of he's got the relic to give him a five up in vulnerable save because i can't give the special equipment to sergeants unless i spend the command point i didn't want to spend an extra one have you got 20 dice there sir yeah so 20 dice these are terrible no one's going to see what's happening but fives and sixes sixes are more darker yep possibly can't read any of that fathom them out fathom in cover hmm after figuring out the terrible orc dice uh, we found out that he's got 12 hits that includes the more dacker right then sir 12 hits roll to wound it's strength of six is it yep so it's going to be freeze against the scouts Ooh, that's one two three four five yep five six six yeah so six wounds against the scouts two so normally i need a six but i'm in cover gonna need a five i might lose a scout squad here Cock dice. I do! Five men, the combat squad is down. No more Crimson Fist down here. What's your second unit to shoot with then, sir? It will be my mech gun. No, not my mech oh, gun. the my shock, shock attack, attack gun. gun. Now, we've actually looked. The shock attack gun of Plasticus can shoot and actually can see, without going over into this bit, one of the Centurions, which is not good for me. Right then, sir. So if you can shoot the Centurions. I'm so heavy D6. Yep. Three. Three shots. What do you need to hit? Five. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the list is still five plus. Five plus to hit. Because there's six is... Oh, one, got one six. six. So we roll that one. An extra shot. Yeah. And a five. Two, two hits. hits. Didn't you have to roll two d6 to find out your strength? Yep, that's what we'll do now. Right, so we've got two hits so far. Two, two d6 it, for his strength. Six. I think we're supposed to roll that maybe beforehand. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't matter. For six. six. So you just... Tougher. And is it D6 damage? Right, so yeah. roll to wound then, so you need him freeze. One. Ooh, one. Any command points, no? Uh, ooh, tell you what, yes, we will. We'll All lose right, a command point. lose a command. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he goes to two. So, this is bad. What's the minus, sir? Minus five. Minus five? Yeah. <laughs> Flipping it. Right, the damage on the first one then, sir. I get no save here. So, damage is... Two. two. Second damage then... Four. Is four, so that'll kill one of the Centurions. Big guns are now firing into the scouts. 2d6 shots, both firing at the same time. Ooh, a six and a four, and that's going to be ten shots. So these need fours due to the fact they're actually controlled by Grotz. Go on then, sir. This is not looking good for me, this. Ooh, two sixes. Right. Two sixes, plenty of ones, though. So, oh, oh do I get a reroll? Uh, no, you get mortal wounds, pal. 
the Dakar, that's an extra hit, that's four hits on the scouts. And because we didn't roll them separately, two mortal wounds are going to apply one to each gun. Just in the interest of fairness there. Uh, right then, sir, roll for wounding. Your strength is... Uh, eight. So you need twos to wound the poor scouts. This is not looking good. Yep. Six, a five, a three, and a five. What's the minus, sir? Uh, minus three. Now these have got camo cloaks, so normally it will be a seven. So it turns it to a five because they're armour. It's minus, it's four up, plus for two is a two, minus the three is a five. So these guys need fives. Oh, not one scout. Oh. That's four of them gone down. Near fight's taking a hit. Only four guys left. This is not looking too good. Right then, sir, I believe you've not got anything else that can shoot. No, nope. nothing's, uh, right. nothing's in charge range either, so... Uh... No problem. Yeah. So, on to the Crimson it. Fists. Oh, dear. Um, yeah. Uh, ooh, morale. I just saw live leadership is eight. They're okay. They hold firm. Crimson Fists, Retaliation, turn one. Objective-wise, I've pulled Secure Objective 3. That's the one that's kind of in front of me. That might be quite easy to do, if I'm honest. Secure Objective 6. It's over there somewhere, we'll look at it in a moment. Secure Objective 1, the one Ollie is stood on. And a Mission Critical Objective, which I rolled a D6 for. I'm going to 6. So 6 is quite important. Where are you, 6? You're there! Oh dear! <laughs> That's not good for me! I've done some movement, Jerry rigged up. I'll be honest with you, this is going to... I'm hoping to cause Ollie a lot of pain here. This is the idea. Um, I need to whittle his numbers down. I need to whittle his numbers down goddamn quick! So, run to the psychic phase, which we forgot to do, so I'll just do it off camera. I right, just psych, uh, smites and chasms. And they've lost seven men to smiting attacks, effectively, or mortal wounds. So we're going to now go... <laughs> and this is where I'm going to spend a crap load of command points. Probably more than humanly possible in one turn. <laughs> so, I'm going to spend two command points on those guys to rapid fire. So that means that they're heavy bolters. If I get a six to hit, an unmodified six to hit, it'll cause an additional two hits, rather than one. Because of Crimson Fists. But it is unmodified. So the heavy bolters... Who do you think they are? Oh. In fact, no, I'm not going to play that. I've only got one heavy bolter guy left. Sod it. No, I'm not going to bother. So, no. Don't give me them back. Heavy bolter is going to go into those guys. And the chest rockets plus the last cannons are going to go into those guys over there. Because I really don't like them. Heavy bolt shots. Uh, Reroll the ones. Because I'm within six inch of my captain. And... I hit on twos because you have more than two, five, six, seven. There's more than seven guys there. So I do hit on two, so they've all hit. Um, rolling to wound. Needing freeze, re-rolling the ones for the lieutenant. That would be five wounds, sir. I've got the Devastator Doctrine on, so that would be a minus of two. And no cover for those because these are Centurion Devastators with the Sergeant still alive. So they would lose five men, good sir. The chest rockets aiming off into the distance. I've got some D3s in my hand, so these are numbered one to three. And that's going to be three shots. Right, so again, there's at least seven men there. The squad is still full of ten, so I need twos to hit me rolling ones. The Mechanicus dice is the last cannons. All hit. What is your toughness, sir? Checked, they are strength. A toughness four, so I need twos to wound with this. So the rockets are going in first, even though I'm rolling them all together, it's just easier that way. Twos to wound. I've rolled two ones, but I am within six of a lieutenant. That will be five wounds. Now, they're minus two, minus three, ignoring cover because of a devastator doctrine, and they're minus four now, ignoring cover. So, unfortunately, you won't get a save, sir. I'm going to grab my d 3s up, because these have got two wounds apiece, haven't they? Yep. Right, so the first one then, so I've got to roll three D3s and then two D6. So the first one suffers one, so the second one, which will be these two, kills one. So only one's dead so far. The next one suffers three, so he will be dead. And then I've got two D6, so the first D6 is a four. And the next D6 is a six. 
So I managed to take out four flash gates. That I would consider to be a victory. No. <laughs> 26 to hit with his heavy bolters. I've completely forgot about them. So these lads here, five of them are going to open fire into the orcs. Again, try and whittle some numbers down. Uh, there's five of them. How many of them is left, sir? Uh, it's going to be more than 10, isn't there? Yeah, more than 10. So it's going to be twos to hit. No rerolls on these. All hit, no sixes. Uh, so no auto wounds. Fours to wound them. That will be. Four saves of your normal armour, sir. Do you believe on all? Is that six? Yep. Yeah. No. Nope. Tell. So no. Nope. So nope. another four of those orcs go down. In this corner, Wisdom of the Ancients has gone on the dreadnought. All of these guys are able to reroll once to hit. Should have done that before I shot with that one, which actually that shot off camera and killed another orc. So these guys, we've got one, two, three, four, five sniper rifles left. They're going against the mech because I don't like him. And I've got a rocket which is going to be going against that big gun there, the furthest one away, because I cannot see this one due to the trees. So let's get some dice. In fact, I've got some dice in my hand. Let's roll for against the gun. I'm needing a three. It's a two. And it counts as a single modern lot, including crew. So I don't get a plus one. I don't get a plus, so I can't re roll. Five dice. This is against the Big Mac, who I need to die. God damn it. Uh, three hits. These are minus one with the heavy doctrine on. Force to wound. No, it's a strength of four. What's your toughness? I'll roll anyway, because I did get a six, so that would be a mortal. Oh, that's not part of my dice. Oh, that's one mortal wound and two armor saves with cover. So just whatever your armor is, Ollie. Uh, it's a standard, standard four. Standard four, or is it on these Big Macs? Nope. <laughs> yep. So he suffers three wounds. He's down to one wound remaining. Damn it. Right. Now it's time to play shenanigans. Okay. So the intercessors, they're going to go next. I'm spending a command point to hate orcs. So I get to reroll to wound. I'm spending another command point to stack counters being stood still. So I can rapid fire two. Well, fire, fire twice. And then I'm going to spend two command points for rapid fire. So I spent four command points in total. Oh, he's such a tryhard. Yeah. <laughs> to hit these guys. Now I've got seven. What have you got against eight, the orcs? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You've definitely got more than twelve there, haven't you? Yep. Yep. Twenty still. So it's going to be twos to hit. Rerolling ones because of wisdom of the ancients. Fours to wound. Rerolling all fails of a minus one. These guys don't like orcs. <laughs> wow. And any sixes are extra shots. So these are the re-rolls, them two has failed, all of them, I need more dice. So I've got eight sixes in that volley, and these are the eight dice I've rolled. And I did get one one, but of course, wisdom. So I've hit all these, oh jeez. Here's the first force to wound. It's a cock dice. Oof. 24 wounds. That's 24 dead orcs. Ollie looks pleased. 24? That's them gone. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Including the double wound on the... Uh, yeah, uh, he, he loves his figures, does Ollie. Treats them well. <laughs> Just heard a crunch as he put them down there. Yeah. With uh, Jesus. I tried to finish off by shooting twin Laz into this guy here and rolled two threes and he moved oh. so yeah oh. Oh. <laughs> so, i'm down to three command points ollie's still got six left let's see if uh, i'll be honest ollie has claimed well we'll, have, we'll roll for morale but then we'll see what we've claimed at the end of that round we did the morale ollie lost another four of those guys uh due to morale there that wasn't good i'll be honest that was awful so they're down to two left with bad rock, but it does mean they actually claim objective one. So he's got two points. He did score a unit in the first round of the game, the scouts that was up here. So he's got three victory points. I've scored objective three, just secure it. It's got a point. And I've uh, also destroyed a unit. Now I am going to dump secure objective one because there's no point. So let's go into turn. Orcs turn two.
Right, so, all these drawn defend objective five. So he's got defend objective two, three, and five, all of which are pretty much in my lines. And he's moving his old second edition orcs up to try and take hold of that. Hmm, this might be tricky. Has shifted forward, the bikes have come roaring out finally of the trees and are ready to try and charge and shoot up this lot. These lads have moved forward normally, hoping to get a charge. There's a minus two though because of the trees and craters, but Ollie is determined. These lads are trying to get hold of this librarian, if you can see him, and the bikes over there. Yeah, they're uh, having a look. These guys are possibly eyeing up some dreadnought action. Right then, sir, got three command points left. Oli has played billowing exhaust clouds on these again. I didn't get a command point back this turn for that. Are you all right there, Oli? What are you yeah, working I'm just out? Yeah, working out my dice, that's all. <laughs> right, do you want me to help you? Yeah, there you go. 54 shots, so we're going to do this off camera. So after all them 56 shots, he killed one and one's on one wound. <laughs> What's he doing? He's going to uh, shoot into them as well. No problem, sir. So he's What's going he to got? use his burner, which is Assault D6, essentially Flamer. Okay. So that is one. <laughs> oh, wow. Command point, no? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll tell you what, go on. Then. We'll use one command point. All, all right, right, mate. Uh, I'm on three. I don't know why my command point's the same five. So... <laughs> Still a one. one. Do I nick his command point? No, because my Inquisitor <laughs> did not expect him to be so stupid. Right. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, one, so one it automatically hit. So strength. strength five. Meaning three. <laughs> no, failed to wound. <laughs> right. That's three um, ones in a row there, Ollie. Yeah, so snag a claw. So, okay. Yeah, hitting on fives. No. No. <laughs> um, boom sticks. So no problem. It's one, two, three boom sticks. Three boom sticks, what we're talking, fives? Fives, yep. So we've got a six and a five. So roll one of them dice one. again, see if you get an extra hit. Six. Yep, so three hits. Yep. So three hits. Um, boom sticks, strength three? Uh, no, strength five. Oh, wow. Um, if I'm with half, I can add an extra one to the strength roll, but I don't think it is. Oh, it might be. What range is it? Uh, Twelve. You are within half, sir. So yeah, it's uh, strength six. Which actually doesn't make a difference. So it's still threes. <laughs> All okay. of him. Uh, any minus? Uh, no. Any that? What's damage? Just one. Uh, just one. All saved, there, Ollie, oh. my sir. Oh. All saved. Oh. Right. Oh, he's making the sound of disgust, but I'm more disgusted with him than he is. Uh, yes. Right. Baskets are opening up. Four shots into these guys. Oh, he's rolled six dice. Two daka daka. One hit. Oli, too many dice. Roll oh. that again. You've only got two left, two shots apiece. Yeah, three shots. Oh, the three shots yeah. each. Oh, sorry, mate. I thought it were two shots apiece. <laughs> Apologies. Did we roll too many, two less dice earlier? Never mind. I think so. Right, okay. <laughs> Needing fives. Uh, so two so hits. Yeah, Reroll that one for Badrook. That's a six. So that's another shot. That's another three shots, mate. Oh, that's it. Yep. Boom. Another, you've got another yeah, two, two to roll. You, Did I? Right then, sir. Roll uh, to wound. Six, Needing six, threes. Nope, so they've all, yeah, no, two, four. <coughs> yep. Now these are two damage apiece. These could kill these Primaris Marines. It's a minus of two. I'm in cover, so I will be saving on fours. Oh, two failed. That will be two going down. All shots off camera. A couple of guys were in range of these. They opened fire, didn't do anything. And then these lads over here, they opened fire onto the librarian. The librarian went, no. Too tough for you. So, the big guns, what are they shooting at? They're shooting at the dreadnought. Both of them? Yeah. Uh, right, because we've got to do one at a time, time, time. yep, yeah, because it can overheat. Yeah. So, I am going to play Duty Eternal for a command point on my dread, which means that the damage he receives is halved, just to try and keep him alive. Played more Daka. There we go. And because he used two, I rolled and I managed to get a command point back. So, I'm back up to three. So I don't really actually cost me to use this because of the Mordaka strategy that he's using. You can use it on the big guns, can't you, yep. Mordaka? So it's only on one because they are two separate units, aren't they? Yep. So the first one then, the Mordaka one, D6 shots. Two. For two. You want a command point? Yes. You've not used it. You've got to re-roll it. So he's down with one command point left on turn two. Six. Oh, Thank that's you. bad for me. He's going to need two. force to hit. Six. 
Remember. You're forced to hit in fives and sixes yeah. extra shots. So. And any six, ones. Five. <laughs> oh, three ones. So three wounds on him. He's got two wounds left, but he has got an extra two shots with his Mordaka. Oh dear. So he takes another wound. <laughs> But he's hit four times. He's hit, he's hit four times. That is amu amusing to me. He's down to one wound Sorry, left. Okay. <laughs> right, you need threes to wound, so I'm toughness seven. Right, come on, pay off, pay off. Yes, all wounds. No, oh, that's a two, fine. mate. Oh yeah, no, oh, oh yeah. So Sorry. three wounds. I got excited there. You did, <laughs> two, very two excited. excited. So minus of three, correct? Yep. Is it? Yep, minus three. I didn't save any. So roll your damage. What is it, 3d6? Yeah. Mm, so, four. Hang on, hang on. Right, so that were four. Let's put it down. And then roll another two dice. There you go. That's just going to be easier. A two, go on. And a two. So, because of my power, that turns to a two. And both of those turn to ones. So I lose four wounds out of eight. Opening fire at the dread. So D6. One. For one shot, he's used his command points. He cannot oh, re-roll. Right, it's a one. It's a force to hit. He misses. misses. But he doesn't overload this time. No. But he misses. Right, shock attack gun, sir. Who's he firing at? Uh, into the dreads. Into the dread. You're supposed to roll first. We just checked. So roll to see what your strength is, sir. So D6. Is a five. Five. I'm going to need fives to wound me. So D6 shots with the big mech over there. For two. two. What do you need to hit? Uh, fours. Uh, no fives. Sorry. Fives and sixes. Yeah. So two dice needing fives and sixes. No. None. No hits with the big mech this turn. I think it's going to be down to your charge phase there, Ollie good sir. That's your big guns fired. Are we going into your charge phase? Yep. Orcs charge phase. Woo. Right, the bikes have hurtled in. They lost one of their number to Overwatch. These lads tried to hurtle into these here, needing a mighty 11 inch charge because of the craters and trees. They lost three, nearly lost six, but thankfully they're in cover. And then these have decided not to charge anything else, they're just going to charge the librarian just to try and get rid of him. Right then, Ollie, which one are you going to go with first? Go the bikes first. How many attacks each do these guys get? Two. Two attacks apiece. Yeah. How many is in combat? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 16 dice. Have you got 16? Yep. What do you need to hit? Uh, oh, I'm guessing threes. Threes, yeah, and because we're goths, uh, that means Any sixes, sixes are extra hits. Extra, sh well, yeah, they, so, you, can, you have to roll for them, roll you, don't you? Yep. So you've got five extra hits, but you've got quite a lot of ones there, mate. Do you re roll the ones for uh, no. the boss? No? That three is a hit, Ollie. Oh, actually, let me take that off. 15 hits with the goths. Uh, what's your strength, sir? Uh, four. So you're going to need fours to wound the marines. Is he going to be able to do it? Ooh, that's not a great roll. No. Nope. Wounds against the Marines. This is not looking good. One fail. I only suffered one wound. That, I don't think, was a particularly good round for you, Rare Roll. Because uh, Ollie sometimes his brain leaks out in his ear, uh, he's got choppers, so he actually gets an extra eight attacks. Any sixes, sir? No, no sixes. Right, okay, so you've got two, two misses there. Right, roll to wound. Let's see if you can kill a marine. Ooh, six, five, four, six, six. Five wounds. Another five with the choppers. Your choppers did better than your fists did. <laughs> so, I suffered two, which would mean I'll lose the marine and the sergeant's down to one wound remaining. Now, because of old school bases, we managed to stack them up. It's got seven boys plus a claw. So, which one are you doing first there, sir? We'll do the boys first. And I'm guessing that's three attacks apiece. Yep. For the choppers. Now that you've remembered. Freeze to hit. Six has exploded into oh. extra attacks. No, so. Ooh, quite a bit. Rolling to wound. Hold has got ten wounds against the librarian. The librarian needing freeze to survive. Five wounds. Oh my god. Four. But there's a power claw to come. Yep. I have got a 5 up and vulnerable save against that claw and he does need 4s to hit. I'm going to take it. I'm down to 1 wound remaining. How many attacks with the claw guy? He's a knob. So, so it'll be 3. Yeah, we have 3. Oh, I think 4s, but yeah. He doesn't get an extra attack, yeah. 
Ooh, two fives and two, so two hits. Two hits. Is it a claw, or did you say it was an axe? Um, Actually an axe. This is what happens when you've got Wizzy when you're not playing WYSIWYG. You said it was is a claw. It? I yeah. <laughs> well, I, because the model's got a claw! WYSIWYG! <laughs> but he did state at the beginning of the game we just all got axes. Right. So, so we with all hits. the extra attack, he failed to hit. So two hits. Strength five. Needing threes. Both hits. Both hit. I don't need fives this time round, I need threes. Oh! Ooh. I'm gonna command point that. He's alive! He lives. And down now. to two. So the Libby is alive with one room wound remaining. Right, so I've attacked back against the bikers, I didn't do anything. The librarian attacked back because of the numbers. I needed twos to hit. Same over there. He actually didn't do anything to the wounding. He needed twos to hit and he managed to kill three of them. So there's one, two, three, four, five left. And I think the knob's leadership is a six. Is that correct? Yep. So you're going to need. Did you lose any to. No, you didn't lose any to Overwatch then. But you will need a morale test on those, sir. Um, so it'd be a six plus. Sorry, D6 plus three. Six. So that, <laughs> that would be nine. You'll be losing three guys unless you use your last command point to re-roll that dice. Go on then, last he, command point. Oh, he's point. using it. He's using it. Oh dear. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. So you only lose one this time round. So you've saved a couple of guys with that command point. So at the end of the Orcs turn two, we've got a Dreadnought that's got four wounds remaining, a Librarian and one wound. Nearly lost a full squad of these guys here, but nothing else hit. Those guys actually are doing more damage to themselves than they did probably to other units. It's a very orky thing to very do. Very orky thing to do. <laughs> yes, it is, I suppose, uh, sir. Yes, it's a very orky thing to do. Right. I will now... Right, okay, let's crack on. This time round, I drew very lucky there. Those are discarded. I've still got Secure 6 and Mission Critical 6, but I've also drawn Master the Warp and for the Empress, so I've got to do a charge and cast Psychic Powers. Mmm, yes, two psychers on the field. I think that's going to happen. Can't fall back down here. So these guys have moved up. I think they're going to actually try and get a charge off at these orcs to try and hit you first. But trying to also finish these guys off with some shooting. These have moved 18 inch forward. They've still got a squad inside. They're going to be claiming objective six. The intercessors are moving between the units. He's fallen back, allowing some flame of death to happen in a moment. We've got the psychic face to do. I'm hoping to get some shots off into them to try and clear those out. So I'm going to do, uh, just <laughs> briefly relay what happened. Smited, killed three. Smited, failed. Tried to fortify himself, rolled a double six. Had to use a command point to reroll one of the dice so I didn't die. And then only managed to regain one wound upon himself. Oh well, never mind. There's every flame of air ready to try and toast him. These guys, they're going to open fire on that gun with one wound remaining. So I need freeze. I got a six, so that's an extra shot. That's a hit. What's the toughness of the gun, Ollie? I believe it is toughness five. Uh, toughness five. So I need fives. I did not change to tactical because I'm an idiot. So <laughs> I'm not going back. Ah, oh, not one. Not one. That nice. was bad. That was bad. Well, I don't know. I've got, other, I've got other weapons to fire yet, mate. Twin cannon. The heavy flame has opened fire on him. Burned him alive. Twin last cannon opening up on that one with five wounds left. Nini freeze. I got one hit. Nini freeze again. Ah! Sound like Chewbacca. God, I failed to damage oh. that one too. Oh. The heavy bolter is going to fire at the one wound remaining truck. The Cerberus launch is going to fire into these guys. That's two D. That's a D6 worth. And then the bolt pistols will fire afterwards. They'll fire into them as well. So, the Cerberus launcher, D6 shots for two. Needing fours to hit because I move. One hit. Fours to wound. No wound. Heavy bolter at the gun platform. Needing fours. One hit. Needing fours. It's a three. It's a fail, even though I dropped it. So that's failed as well. I'm doing very, very well. And then I got five bolt pistols into these guys. All a hit, no sixes though. Two saves, mate. Needing um, five up because you're in cover. 
Both made it. Both made it. <laughs> I'm having a bad turn this turn. Down here, five sniper rifles are going to go into the one wound remaining mech lab. I've got to hit him first. He's picking on him. <laughs> right, I've hit him four times. I need fours to wound him with minus ones. What's he done? Nothing. Mortal wound at least. He's oh, well, gone. gone. He did and then nothing. a rocket. He did nothing to which you. Can't see the one wound one, but a rocket into the other gun, which misses. You've done very well. Not. Cen it. Centurion Devastators are opening fire, but Heavy Bolters are going to go into this squad here with a plus one to hit. So that's going to be hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. The Centurion Rockets are going to go into the remaining flash kits, and then the last cannons which I've measured range for are going to target that big gun over there. So the Heavy Bolters to begin with into these remaining lads here. Needing twos, re-rolling ones. No sixes, no extra shots, but I did get six hits. Freeze to wound. That'll be four with dead with a minus two, sir. So four of them are gonna go down. 2D3 rocket shots into the flash kits. For two, not what I wanted. Uh, these are gonna be freeze to hit because I don't get a plus one against this unit. Only one hit. Two's to wound. Doesn't wound, but I got a lieutenant within six. It does wound this time. It's a minus of three. I don't know what your armor is. Uh, four. Four. Six. So, I'll be seven six. Yes, you do. Nope. One. Nope. And it's a D3 damage for free. So, that will kill another flash kit. And then the last cannons, as stated, are going to go into the greater, the five wound cannon over there. One hit. Re roll the ones for captains. Two hits. Any freeze. Two wounds. No cover. Minus four. Straight through. Two D6 worth of damage. For six, seven, eight. So that big gun has gone. Do they explode? Nope. Nope. So that big gun with five wounds remaining has disappeared. Infiltrator is now going to go against these guys here. At Ten shots with them being within rapid fire range. Needing freeze, re-rolling the ones. So I got one six, which is an extra shot. And that also did that there. Hmm. So these. In fact, that one six is also an auto wound. So that's wounded. Automatically, I'll just put that to one side, move them out of the way, and then right. So that will be four wounds, good sir. On those orcs, needing five up. No. Oh. So that would mean that the knob's got one wound left. Then down, only one wound remaining on that knob. This is not looking good. That's the end of a shooting phase for the Marines. It's going to be the charge phase. I've really given... There's no boys remaining apart from one guy. The bikers are still good, but I am going to charge the bikes right now. So the charge has gone off down here. At the end of that combat, two bikers have gone down. And that lonely Primaris Marine in the middle that was swamped, he's been dragged down as well. So, at the end of turn two, I managed to score for the Emperor. Master the Warp for one. I only managed to succeed two powers. Secure Objective 6 and mission, and mission Critical Objective 6. So I managed to score 4 VPs there, taking me up to 6. And I discard all of them. Now, Ollie has managed to hold on to number 2. So that one goes. You should really have your discard pile up, mate. Um, so that's... So he's on 5 points. So on turn three, we've only got a point between us, but Ollie is rapidly running out of men. Do you want to continue and see what happens? Yeah, let's play the turn. <laughs> Ollie has drawn. Defend objective six and hold the line. Now hold the line he could do, he could just move van two back there, and that would be three units. But trying to get all the six, trying to get all the three, and trying to get hold of five, he's not gonna do. And he's gonna run out of men before he can do it. It's got one lonely bloke here that could run forward to try and defend it, but then I've got all these marines and characters. So Ollie has conceded on that one there at the beginning of turn three. Two turn game, 1500 points. We did have a, a handshake, yeah. there we go, we'll have a handshake yeah. on the uh, thing. Um, so the Crimson Fists, oh. successful against the Orcs. The Crimson Chins. The crimson Chins, <laughs> mm, Crimson Chin. 
If people know what that's from, me and Ollie's not going to look it up. We refuse to do it. We just keep speculating which cartoon series the Crimson Chin was from. So, if you manage to find, just tell us. Just put it if in the comments below. The Chin put it in the from, comments you below. Win nothing. <laughs> you can win nothing, but apart from the fact that I'll know that you've got right to end the video. <laughs> Um, so, you know, the crimson chin, yes. Mm. Right, I see. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button for more. The crimson fists were painted by my good self at rootstem.co.uk, and so were the flash gates on Ollie's side, uh, and of course, that block there. Although, I'll be honest, some of the lighting in here is not the greatest, so it, you could probably not see it that well. I will try to improve that on the edit, hopefully. Well, thank you very much. We will see you next time on Rootstam. Wow. <laughs>